Hello everyone! Today we will learn how to create a multilingual LMS website using Master Study and WPML from Zero. Our plugin is fully compatible with WPML and it enables our users to create courses in different languages and expand their audience. First, go to the website wpml.org. Here we need to download the plugin. WPML doesn't have free version, so firstly you need to purchase it. But I have already got my subscription, so log into the system and go to downloads. Scroll down and click on the download WPML manually. Download the WPML multilingual CMS and string translation. Now, in your WordPress dashboard, go to Add Plugin, then upload the file Multilingual CMS first. Next, in the same way, install the String Translations plugin. Go back to WPML website and find the link Register WPML on your sites. Click on Add a new site, enter the site URL including HTTP or HTTPS part. Select the development website for now. In the credits tab, specify the credits that you want to use for this website. Credits are required if you want to use the automatic translation by WPML. But in my case, I will show you a manual translation so we don't need any credits to assign. Next, the most important part, copy the special key that will be used to activate the plugins only on this website. For other websites, it will be different. Now, return the backend of your website again. Go to the Add New Plugin, then reach the tab Commercial. Click on Register WPML and insert the key that you have copied. Congratulations! We have successfully installed and activated WPML. Now, let's set it up. Click on WPML from your dashboard. This is a setup wizard. In the first step, we need to indicate the languages that we want to translate our site into. I will add Spanish. No worries if you want to add other languages after some time. You can do it in the plugin settings. In the second step, you need to select the format of site's URL for different languages. The next step is about registering the plugin, but we have already done it, that's why the site key is already here. Translation mode. As I said earlier, I will go for manual translation. Who will translate? For now, it's only me. Select yes and skip the sixth step. And we are finished. Okay, well done. But before starting the translation of the website, our quizzes, lessons, courses, and etc., we need to unlock and enable several settings in the WPML plugin settings. So go to settings from WPML dashboard and scroll down until you find a section called Custom Fields Translation. Here you can make some of the fields translatable or not translatable. For example, here you can see there is a field called level that's actually intermediate, advanced, beginner fields, um, words or actually in our website. Right now it is in copy mode, which means like our Spanish version gonna copy the version from English version. It's just copying, so not translating. But if you want to add the translation, you need to unlock it and make it translatable like this. So there are 150 fields right now. The same thing can be said to feature it or elementary courses, but let's say I want to translate this one and uh, this one I don't want. Let's see. Okay, but the most important thing here is um, this post type translation. We need to go down and we need to unlock the feature to translate uh, navigating menus, landing page, like gonna make it translatable. Uh, by the way, there are three columns. The first one is uh, 
translatable and it only shows the translated items. Let's say I have 10 courses and I've translated only 3 courses to Spanish and if I change the site language to Spanish, only 3 courses will be shown out of 10. The 7 courses will be hidden because they don't have uh, Spanish translation, they have only English. So the second one is uh, use translation if available or fall back to default language and the third one is not translatable. So we need the first one. And I will go down and make sure to unlock courses, lessons, quizzes, questions and assignments as well. All of them should be translatable. Let's unlock elementary header and footer as well. By the way, if you make any change here, do not forget to save the save buttons uh, located at the end of each uh, section. For example, uh, I forgot to save this one, this custom fields translation. So good job. In the future, if you want to translate something, you need to change it first from here. Now, let me quickly explain about WPML plugin. The first section is translation management. In translation management section, you can see uh, the different sort of uh, post types. Let's say course, question, quiz, assignment, lesson, page. Yeah, they are kind of big things to translate. They are not just the words or strings. They are different than strings. So in order to translate them in the translation management section, we need to put a tick sum of them and at the bottom you can see uh, you need to choose the translation option like the language first of all we have only spanish that's why only spanish is being displayed here and you can also choose the one of this translate duplicate counter or do nothing options select the translation mode like automatically or manually i'm gonna put it manually and if i click on this button i mean add the translation queue it will be sent to the the next section which is translations and the translation there will be displayed what kind of things has been translated in your website or it is being translated i mean its status and etc so we're gonna uh, talk about these sections more in detail once we start translating. In the languages, you can add or remove languages or modify the current language. You can also change the language switcher options and where to uh, display them, kind of, in, for example, in the header or in the footer or etc. Yeah, so you can change everything here. We're gonna also talk about this language section at the same time, but not right now. And the theme and plugins localization section, we have to synchronize different sort of strings, especially. And uh, once we check them, our uh, WPML plugin compares which one of them has been translated or has not been translated. And it will be displayed in string translation section. In the string translation section, you can translate almost any text which is static, not dynamic. What does dynamic mean? For example, the title, description, or lessons of the course, they can be changed. But the button, let's say purchase the course, it is the same for all courses which makes it static. So let's begin our translation. We will start our work by translating elements page like homepage, user account, courses page, wishlist, checkout, etc. Translation process is identical for all of them. You can do the translations in two ways. First and the easiest one is to translate them from page step of the WordPress dashboard. If you notice, there is one new column added which is translation column. In addition, new filters has been added which enables to sort by language. This is the WPML classic translating page. Here you can see the text in English which is original. Then type of the text. Here you need to write down the translated text, then press this button to save the translation. Once you complete all of the texts, click on the complete button and it will be published immediately. The second way of translating page, courses, and lessons is using the translation management section in the WPML. You can first apply filtering to sort elements, then select the necessary ones to translate. Scroll down and add them to the translation queue. Now, 
This page is available to translate. Using this process, you need to translate all of your pages before translating courses. As master study is available in several languages, including Spanish, there are very few things left to translate. Many of them will be displayed automatically in Spanish. Now, let's take this introduction to graphic design course. We will translate it fully to Spanish. It has a text lesson, a video lesson, an assignment and a quiz. Before translating the whole course, it is highly recommended to translate the contents inside of it. So, we will translate lessons in first order. In your dashboard, go to the Lessons tab. Click on this button to translate it. Usually, WPML divides different paragraphs into different segments, but if you want, you can join them in the translation. In some of the text, they may have additional formatting like bold, italics, or hyperlink. You need to choose manually which text should be formatted, then press the proper button in this case. Complete, and let's move to the second lesson. Repeat the process. Good job. Now, let's go to translate an assignment in the assignments tab. Almost identical with lesson translation. Now, it's time to translate quizzes. First, we need to translate questions from the questions tab in our dashboard. Now, we are welcome to translate the quiz itself. Let's add these questions in Spanish. First, select the Spanish, then edit the course with Course Builder. Add the questions easily using the questions library, and we are done. Switch to the Courses tab to translate the course itself. Here, we mainly translate the course title, description, and durations. We are done! Let's check it out! Now, let's deal with string translation. But before that, we need to scan themes and plugins for strings from the Theme and Plugins Localization tab. This is a user page in Spanish, for example. Everything here is in Spanish as you can see, except the in-draft text. 
Let's search for it and translate. This was the example of how you need to deal with the untranslated static strings. In our website, you can see our header is not OK in Spanish as it has not been translated yet. First, from the Appearance section, find Elementor Header and Footer Builder. You can see there is a small issue. To fix it, just update the footer and header as I did in the video. The same procedure for header as well. Trusted header and footer from here. Now move to the menu section of the appearance tab and edit the Spanish version of the menu as you want. Make sure to write slash ES for Spanish homepage. Everything is good, we almost translated our website to Spanish. The last thing that we need to discuss is the menu language switcher. For now, switcher is in the footer section. To add it to the menu, go to the language tab in the WPML dashboard. Find the menu language switcher section and add a new one. Customize it according to your needs. Now, it is ready. I hope you will like the video. If it's so, do not hesitate to put your thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content. Take care, stay tuned, thanks for watching.